Hey everybody, got another video for you today. Today we're going to be looking at some of the gaming things that I've picked up in the past here, year or so. Today we're going to be looking at some of the Dance Dance Revolution things that I have. I've been a big player, been playing since about the early 2000s. I've been on and off. Recently I wanted to get back into it. Of course I'm not going to be able to go to one of the arcades right now because everything's closed. So I went and shopped around and found out there's really not much left in terms of hard pads. I had a DDR game pad which worked but it was fairly iffy eventually the frames started to do some weird things so I ended up kind of pushing that away and through the research I have found what I consider probably the best dance pad that you can get at a reasonable price uh, it is the LTech DDR EX Pro or Poland's finest dance pad let me go ahead and give you a look now the dance pad's not very big actually compared to some of the other versions that I've played on. This is a lot similar to a Cobalt Flux which I had owned some time ago. The nice thing about this pad is it's very sturdy. I'm not sure if it's melamine like the other one is but it's got quite a bit of density to it. And one of my favorite things about this pad actually is the fact that it has USB and it's literally right inside of there. It doesn't have any weird controller boxes or anything like that. It's all one piece. It does everything you want it to do with one cable. No extra box or weird sort of VGA cable <laughs> that you can't replace, I found out. Everything's all packaged into one. The Pro version, apparently the big difference is the panels are polycarbonate or Lexan or something it's a lot tougher than the regular acrylic pads so they should last longer and then another nice thing is these are actually raised it's probably hard to see but you do have the ability to kind of play by feel so I kind of like that overall this pad looks really nice I haven't played on it yet I'm gonna give it a go here forewarning I have not played in some time so I'm sort of out of practice I probably won't be able to hit anything higher than a 9 or as they call them now 13s maybe the occasional 14 but we'll see how it does
so after playing for a little bit, I'm very tired. I'm gonna chalk that up for being out of practice. In terms of the pad, I actually really like it. Uh, there's a little bit of give, not too much, but enough to where you know you're pressing on something. And I almost wanna say there's a little bit of a ghosting issue, but that actually just might be me because I'm so out of practice. I can't really blame the pad for that just yet. I'm gonna have to do some more practice. If you're able to afford this pad, go for it. It's great. Um, I would play on this way more recommendation here than that DDR game pad that I have, which is sitting in the back of my closet right now. This thing is great. If you don't need the pro version, if you're lighter, if you're not a big boy like me, they have a lesser expensive model. It doesn't have the pro uh, panels on there, but if you want to get the best that they have, this guy is really awesome. It's actually on sale right now, I think, but I totally recommend this dance pad if you're out in the market and you have the money for a higher end dance pad. Anyways, it's been fun. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.